Cause I'm a mean nigga, cradle to the grave, nigga. This is how I'm raised, nigga. I'm trying to free the slaves, nigga. I'm trying to free the uh, good morning, world. Uh, I'm gonna be short and sweet. Uh, I just want to address the Chev uh, Derek Chauvin case. Uh, justice has been served. He got 22 years for um, pretty much killing George Floyd. A knee to the neck. Um, this is just a minor justice for a lot of police brutality that's been going on in the world, but um. Any justice is better than no justice, you know what I mean? Um, he deserved that. And um, every day, we need liberation. Every day, every George Floyd, not just George Floyd, but it's everybody that's that's an African-American that go to police brutality needs justice, you understand me? But uh, we got justice been served, and I'm, I'm happy that. It took a long time. It took a lot of marching. It took a lot of speeches. But our justice has been served and our justice system, finally, our justice system has showed that um, they have favor in the black man and the black woman. You know, it's a lot of black men and the black women that has been um, lost their life to police brutality. I'm not going to get into the names, but you know what's going on. And I'm here to always brief you and always um, ensure that you know the information that's going on. We got to understand that we have rights. We have to understand that we are human beings. And we are created equal. We do not deserve to be shot down and killed by any police officer. You understand me? Um, he should not fear for his life to the point where he has to use a gun, especially if we don't have uh, any gun on us or we're not actually using any force. So if any force is not used by the civilian, the law enforcer should not use any force or take a person's life. It's a lot of people that, that lost their life to police brutality. You understand me? George Floyd had a daughter and now... His daughter will never see him again, but at least his daughter got justice. At least his daughter can go to sleep at night. His wife can go to sleep at night knowing that justice has been served. Hopefully Derek Chauvin goes in and be re rehabilitated and uh, have 22 years to think about what he did. And um, if he ever free, he doesn't do it again. I mean, he's not going to be a police officer no more, but uh, I hope hopefully he learns from his mistakes. Uh, let this be a lesson to any cop, maybe uh, white, black, Chinese, whatever. Remember, when you have a gun in your hand, don't use force all the time, especially if your life not in danger. We all are human. We all are equal, regardless if you're a law enforcement or you are a um, civilian. You got to realize that that the cops have to realize that they can be punished just as well as civilians be punished if they take somebody's life. You know, justice has been served, like I said again, and I'm proud of my justice system that they serve. But uh, I'm still disappointed because there's other people, thousands of people that's black that lost their lives. Maybe women, children or men. We all deserve justice. We all deserve justice. But justice has been served 22 years. I still I still feel like that ain't good enough because a life has been lost. But we'll take it, you know. And um, like I said, let this be a lesson to all cops. Think about what you do before you do it. Think about their children. Think about your children. Think about your name. You know what I mean? We all are American citizens. Realize everything doesn't need force. Sometimes you need to talk and human and be humble. Just because you got that badge don't make you better than anybody. And remember, head up, chest out. I'm trying to feed the slaves, nigga. Yeah, cause I'm a man, nigga. Cradle to the grave, nigga. This is how I'm raised, nigga. I'm trying to feed the slaves, nigga. I'm trying to feed the slaves, nigga.